Hey everybody, Venomous Prime here, and it's time for another Prime Snip Snap. This is a short form video in which we play one game of Marvel Snap. Just to show you how snippy snappy quick and fast the game is. Marvel Snap. Free to play if you haven't gotten a hold of it. And if you're a big Marvel fan, I would definitely recommend it. Um, featuring the deck that we played in our live stream that we did towards the beginning of the week, which I'll have a, a link to in this video, hopefully. Uh, unfortunately, we don't got any turn one play. I could play the Black Knight here. You know, we can actually do that because Lemire is out there. I don't like to play Black Knight unless I have a, uh, a good option in my hand. I kind of kind of do because the whole, the whole point of this deck is to discard cards and then have the Ghost Rider pull it out a little bit later for a surprise. But we don't want to discard our discarders because that's not the power that we're going for. So I think we're going to skip this turn two here. Although a five cost, a five power ebony blade isn't bad. I think we can do better though. I think we can afford to float one turn. Looks like we're playing a classic destroyed deck here. We got a Bucky Barnes and a Deadpool coming down in Lemuria, the first location. Well, that's not much better of a hand for us. Um, I think we go with the Lady Sif here though. We go with the Lady Sif. Or maybe I should just put the Jubilee in. Maybe we'll put the Jubilee in the, uh... We'll put Jubilee in the, uh, in the discard pile. Because at least the Ghost Rider will be able to pull a Jubilee, which will pull something else out. So that's that's a pretty good combination there. We'll do that. We'll do that in Eternity Rid Range. Blade jumping up on the mountain. There goes my Black Knight. That is unfortunate. They had priority, so now my Ebony Blade is not going to get triggered, but it would have only been a one-cost ebony blade. Anyways, that is fine. So now we can play our Ghost Rider, which will bring out uh, a Jubilee, which will bring out something else. <laughs> and that's what we want. That's what we want. We're hopefully it brings out an Infinite. That's what we're hoping the Jubilee will bring out. If it, if it hits something else, then... Uh, change my underwear. I guess we'll go with it, man. Yondu coming out for my opponent. I'm losing my sword master. Okay, well that makes my Jubilee pull a little bit better. Come on, Jubilee, roll the dice. Okay, it's gonna blink. We got a Giganto down. That actually worked out pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. And Infinite is now in our hand for turn six. And uh, yeah, man, I think I think we just ride this out. Hope that they don't take Eternity Range. It is unfortunate that I'm only winning in Eternity Range. Because um, if they take the Eternity Range with one of their cards, then uh, then I'm kind of a kind of kind of screwed with the Infinite coming out. Because we would only win one location. So we're kind of banking on our opponent not playing to Eternity Range here. Would they do that, though? They're leading in Lemuria... There's nothing in the middle location, Vibranium Mines. They see that they're losing an Eternity Range. They're going to play a card there, aren't they? They are going to play a card there, so... Is there another path to victory here? Boy, I don't know. Let's let's play to Eternity Range. We're calling an Audible. Oh, man, they didn't play to Eternity Range. Dang, I could have got away with it, probably. Could have gotten away with it, but let's see what Lady Sif does here in the middle lane with Vibranium Mines. Yeah, Wolverine getting slashed, and he's going over to Eternity Range. We still would have won that location if I had played, if I had left it there, and then I could have played the Infinite. If I had played the Infinite down to a different lane this turn, we would have won. But um, uh, we might still, we might still, we got Scar in our hand, right? That's probably our best bet here. I don't see any reason to play the Leech on the final turn. We need this 11 power. We only got Eternity Range, so once again, we're in that that awkward spot where uh, if they play the Eternity Range uh, we could lose this, but we are tied in Vibranium Mines. They might go here to try to break the tie. Optionally I can play Scar down in the first lane. Maybe they won't see that coming. And then hope they don't play to Eternity Range. Let's go! They didn't play the Eternity Range last turn. Let's see if they don't do it this turn. Wow, they play cards everywhere. Okay, we tie up at Eternity Range. Vibranium comes down, giving them the Vibranium Mines. And we take Lemuria. Tie. What's a tie, guys? That's <laughs> a tie, man. Well, hey, you know, I guess a tie is better than a loss. 
<laughs> I guess it ties better than a loss. But anyway, that was a pretty good game. There you have it, guys. That is my Discard the Blinking Patriot. Or <laughs> Discard the Blinking Jubilee. I do have another deck called Discard the Blinking Patriot, which maybe I'll feature in a in a uh, in a future video. Well, not it's not a discard deck. Anyways, enough of that. That's it for me. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys.